And I ain't started having money till I started having haters. Hey, <laughs> Roger bought them all, but some like the SWAT. I like premium pay, bitch, that's all I cop. I be in the store, but some five pop. Diamonds on my body, it should cost a lot. Hey, this shit cost a lot. Diamonds on my body, this shit cost a lot. Hey, this shit cost a lot. This shit I be told dope, I zip, supreme, my kick, I bought a bitch, now she all on my dick Hi guys, it's Yanjin, and I'm back with another video for this week As you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be filming the what's on my iPhone tag thing, I don't even know what it is But I'm filming it I had gotten a lot of requests to film this video So, I'm answering your calls and I'm recording it for you guys I am sick I just want to point that out. So if you think my voice sounds weird, it probably does. And if you hear me dying <coughs> or wheezing, don't, don't come at me. Fucking dying and nobody could take care of me. Subscribe, of course, if you want to see me every freaking try to be every week, but it's not. It took me forever to come up with this idea just to film this one video, so... I'm slacking. So let's get on with the video. As you can tell, I have the iPhone 7 Plus. It's the jet black. This is just a pink case. I got it from a f the flea market on Saturday when I went with my family. So yeah. As you can tell, just on my first page, it's just the regular basic look. Phone, calendar, photos, camera, weather, clock, maps, TV. Notes, reminders, stocks, news, iTunes store, app store, wallet, home, health, compass, settings, iPhone, I mean, find my iPhone, um, T-Mobile, and T-Mobile Tuesdays, which gives me free crap, or sometimes, like, discounts, or coupons, or something. And then, on the bottom four, I have messages, um, just text messages, and then I have this folder that has Gmail, Shift, Manage Back, and Dropbox. And email, I mean Gmail is basically my email. Shift is what I use for work. My job usually makes me, um, my job doesn't make me do nothing. <laughs> I can message my coworkers through that instead of trying to get a hold of them through their phone. It's just a way of communicating with my coworkers pretty much. Manage back is for school, which is an app that tells me what assignments I have when they're due saves documents pretty much for you um and files and stuff from manage back for school i could put files from Dro dropbox into manage back so that i could send them to my teachers if that makes sense so that's why i have that there and then i have snapchat if you want to add me ah oh, god <laughs> you want to add me on the snaps at Leandra Mackey <laughs> and then I have music SoundCloud Pandora Spotify Spinrilla my mixtapes Musi Soundhound and Genius in this music folder pretty much all music apps Soundhound is basically like Shazam if you know what that is Genius is just lyrics um, if I want lyrics and I want the right with lyrics not everything else is just music apps um Um, when you slide over to the next side, the next page, I mean, I have FaceTime, calculator, and then in this, um, folder, I have all my editing apps that I use for pictures and stuff. I don't use all of these apps, but they're just apps that I have that sometimes I need or something. Leave my nail alone. Both of my nails alone. I broke them in Vegas. Don't look at them. Just <laughs> okay, I have Microsoft Pix, Afterlight, Facetune, Facetune 2, PixArt, ViscoCam, Wittagram, and Flippogram. <clears throat> and on this next page, I have Boomerang and Collageable. Uh, pretty much, Microsoft Pix just gives me that blurred out look in the background before I had the iPhone 7 Plus. Sometimes I even use it now because I... Portrait mode kind of trips out and fucks up, so yeah. Afterlight is also an editing app, like Visco Cam, if you know what Visco Cam is, but 
more filters and it also pays you had to pay for it um don't ever use it but it's there so facetune is also an app you have to pay i think it paid like three dollars or something for it um i use it to whine out my pictures um also clear it out a little bit more make it a little bit crisp <coughs> <coughs> And then I have Facetune, too. It's just like regular Facetune, just free. Um, Pixar is just what I usually add, like, words to or add collages to. Um, what else do I use? Just, like, adding pictures on top of pictures, just that kind of stuff. Um, Visco Cam I use for editing my pictures. Um, if you guys want to see um, how I edit my pictures... I could definitely do that for you guys. Just let me know. Wittagram, which is like, um, it adds a white border. It doesn't have to be a white border, but it just adds a border around your pictures. Um, Flipagram is just a mixture. You can add videos and pictures just in this video that has background music. Um, I don't know how to explain it. I used to do it for birthdays and stuff for my friends and before I had a life. But then I have Boomerang, which is basically for Instagram. Um, it just, I don't know. If you have Instagram, you should know. Um, coll collageable, which is just an app to make collages. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so then we go into the finance folder. And I have three apps. <laughs> I have Belco, PayPal, and Google Wallet. And I have Belco um because it's my bank account and paypal is just so i could transfer money also for ebay or anything i order online it's just faster to go through paypal so paypal and then google wallet which is like paypal but it's not like as known i guess um pretty much the same function and then you go into this travel folder and i have uber lyft postmates car gurus access yelp and Uber Eats and basically Uber Lyft. You guys know what that is, or should know what that is. Um, Postmates is not freaking local in my area, but I have it anyways. I don't know why, but basically brings you food as well as Uber Eats. But that's local in my area, but I haven't used it yet. I only use it in Vegas. And Lord, let me tell you how much I paid for that forty-four dollars just for food that was like down the block that could have walked and went to go get, but I didn't. So. Um, Car Gurus, which is an app basically for cars, because I might be whipping it soon, so. Access is for concerts. I always go to concerts, and, um, I hate scanning the actual ticket, and I always buy digital tickets, typically, whenever I have the option to, so. Access is usually the app that scans them and stuff, so. Got that? Yelp. Just because I don't like going to places that have bad reviews. Um, yep. And then for the next folder, I have the sports folder. And it just has all my sports apps because I'm a weirdo and don't just have one sports app. But I have CBX Sports, The Score, and ESPN. And let me tell you, they all work. I get notifications for the same exact thing through all these apps. And I don't know why. I like that. I, I don't know. And then I have NCAA Sports, and that's for softball because for some reason I can't see them through ESPN. ESPN. PM. 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 Through ESPN, so. Yeah. And then I have the reference folder, which is really the school folder because this is all my schoolwork. Or stuff I need for school then I have classroom translate campus portal which is for school and I could check my grades on that e-notes which is just a place for notes as well as easy bit easy bib which is kind of like spark notes in a way but I don't know um dps portal which is also something I check my grades on when campus portal don't work and then urban dictionary is what I use for what I don't know what word mean typically in class we'd be we we be using oh my gosh <laughs> we need to look up ur urban dictionary definitions rather than the regular ones so yep 
Duolingo is for Spanish because you know yo hablo espanol. <laughs> I just need to get better. Just kidding, it's for homework. I have to do homework through that app. Anyways, um, Remind, which is what's supposed to remind me for homework and any announcements my teachers have for me. I'm not even set up for the app, so I don't know what they've said. I also have this after school app, which is basically, um, it's basically an app. You log in, whatever you connect with your school, and then you see what people post about each other. You'll probably know half of the people that they talk about. Sometimes they might talk about you and you even know. Um, I used to use it in like my freshman and sophomore year. Um, I don't use it now. I just still have it. <laughs> then I have slides, um, Google Drive. Google Docs, Max Preps, which is the sports um, schools in my area. They just gave me the scores that they got or their rankings, the everything. Um, then I have the regular dictionary. And it also has a thesaurus because sometimes I like, I don't like using basic words. So I always like to use synonym, 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 synonym. I always like to use synonym words. Um, yeah. And then I have Kahoot because I also use that for Spanish because... I don't know, my Spanish teacher always likes to play Kahoot. I have this homework app that I do not use, but it's supposed to remind me for homework. I have a lot of apps that are supposed to remind me for homework that I do not use. And I should, but I don't. And then I have this calculator. Um, it's great because it actually solves equations for you. And instead of typing them in, I always jot in and it gives me the answer. And it's accurate too, so. Yep, go to games. I'm just going to go through the games really fast because... Honestly, they're games. I have Flow, Piano Tiles, Subway Surfer, um, Pop the Lock, Dodo Bird, which is like um, Floppy Bird, um, Doodle Jump, Temple Run, Balls, 1010, 8 Ball, um, 2048, Slither, 30, oh, 360 Degree. <laughs> Parking Free and Parking Mania 2. <clears throat> they're both Parking Manias, but that's just what it says. And then you go to Social. There's only three, and they're not even really social. I don't know what they're in the folder. They just are. I have Tumblr, Pinterest, and Bitemoji. House Party in this folder. And it's, um, it looks like Snapchat. The layout looks exactly like Snapchat, but it's your, um, you could all go into a group together to video chat with each other. Mm, Skype. Which is also a video calling thing. I use it for my friends that have Androids. I have Waze, which is like a GPS, just a better nav navigation supposedly. Um, I don't use it at all, so I don't know. And I have Google Maps, which is self-explanatory. Then I have Shazam, um, which is oh, let's just say there's a song you don't know, and you really like the song, and you don't want to ask somebody what the song's name was. That's when Shazam comes in handy and you're like, and you get the song and you can turn up to the song without even asking. That's how you do it. In this folder, I have Netflix, Go90, which is like a video app. I used to watch um, Tagged on Go90. Now that the season's over, I don't really go on it at all. I also used to watch Chachi's World too, because I love Chachi. YouTube, and then I have YT Studio, which is what I use to watch or to check up on my analytics for YouTube, like my views and likes and subscriber change and all of that. I read your comments and I can respond to comments through, through it. It's nice, it's nice. And then I have You Now, which is a live stream. I used to go on You Now all the time. I used to watch You Now all the damn time. Not so much anymore. I just have the app. I recently reinstalled it, so that's why I have that. Um, AdSense. I have AdSense because I was going to try to hook up AdSense with my YouTube and stuff. But um, I haven't got around to it, nor have I had the time. So, yeah. And then I have Live Counts, and it's just an app where I check my subscribers, see how close I am to my goal that I have. Um, yeah. And then I have Twitter, Instagram. Those are always linked down below, by the way. It's like, uh, 
and I have a bunch of fucking VPN there because I'm telling you sometime one VPN won't work if you don't know what VPN is for school well I use it for school I don't know if it's technically for school but I use it for school and basically you my school's Wi-Fi blocks out Facebook Twitter Instagram everything that people use like social media pretty much so with this VPN you add it you click it blah blah it gets VPN on your phone so then it unblocks everything so you could use it sometimes they all don't work and sometimes a trial will come up and they're like oh well you have to pay now so play gotta pay I have five of them so I don't gotta pay and I use them at different times I have a problem and then I have this photo and video folder it's mostly video editing stuff just what I use to edit my videos not necessarily use but just some things I could use um, I have iMovie which I edit my videos on um, VCVT which basically gets a YouTube video and converts them to a file a downloadable file and repost is just um, you go on Instagram you want to get a video you repost it like it just takes the Instagram videos from Instagram and then my media is pretty much the same thing as VCVT. Uh, it's just a converter. Documents keeps my documents in one thing as well as I could do the same exact thing that I could do with VCVT. Um, MediaCast is a video screening thing, supposed to be a video screening thing. Um, yeah. And then I have Vino, Venmo. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know what Venmo is, to be quite honest with you. But try it out. Try it out. Shoot yourself. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment down below what apps you think I should have on my phone because I'm sleep on your guys' apps that you have. If you'd like to see more of me definitely subscribe you know like we lit all my social media links will be linked down below as well as i don't even know that's it that's it that's all i got for you guys i hope you guys like my video i'll see you guys next week bye